Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 7th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike. Uh, interesting week. It was a quiet week in the markets in terms of new issue supply. Holiday shortened after the 4th of July holiday fell on a Tuesday this year. Uh, but there was a lot of economic data. The big uh, June unemployment report came out this morning. How did the markets react? Sure. So definitely light activity kind of a, across the market with the holiday, as you mentioned, on Tuesday. But we did see a pretty big Treasury sell-off on the back of the ADP number, which was earlier this week. And as of this morning, Treasuries were anywhere from about 14 to 18 basis points wider on the week. And munis were about five basis points wider across the curve as of this morning. Um, June jobs data came out this morning. The non-farm number came in at 209,000, which was slightly lower than the estimate of 230,000. And last month's number was revised down to 306,000 from the 339,000 that we had originally heard. Unemployment came in as expected at 3.6%, but we actually saw wage growth come in slightly stronger than expected. So I think that this gives the Fed additional information to think about kind of prior to the upcoming meeting at the end of the month. And as of this morning, uh, the market was pricing in about an 89% chance of a hike at the next meeting. So it seems like the fight against inflation might be close to over, but not quite over. And the market's just trying to calibrate exactly where that uh, that moment's going to hit. Exactly. And, and then in terms well, of the new issue calendar, um, as you mentioned, obviously this week was pretty light with the holiday. It was just under a billion. But I think it's important that we kind of highlight the last week of June where we saw some nice activity. We priced about 487 million across 12 series in eight states. And a few deals to highlight from that week, we had 315 million city of Springdale, Arkansas, which was priced by Cruz, 102 million Brunswick School District in Ohio, which was priced by RBC. And, you know, as we look to next week, the calendar is definitely building, which is always good for the market. Um, as of this morning, it was just under 8 billion. And a deal that we will be watching here at BAM is the 81 million Texas Public Finance Authority for Texas Southern University, which is going to be priced by Loop. It is interesting. The uh, volume data for June came in. We saw that June was actually, I believe, the most active month in the new issue market for munis uh, year to date. It was down only 9% year over year. Uh, the first half uh, average was down 20% year over year. So uh, a lot of trends showing that the second half may be busier from a new issue perspective. And we did see uh, the, the Lipper data on muni supply. Now that's at the margin right now because so much cash is coming into the market from coupon payments and maturing bonds on, on July 1st. But uh, we're still seeing negative uh, cash flows for municipal bond mutual funds. So it will be interesting to see uh, later on in the year if a building calendar meets that uh, that still somewhat tepid retail demand to see what happens uh, for munis going forward. But right now, uh, the market's still pretty stable. Uh, ratio strengthened a little bit this week, as you said. So uh, we'll see how things play out in the rest of July. Definitely. It'll be good to see uh, next week once people are back in their seats kind of after uh, the holiday week this week. Very good. Well, thanks for your time, Morgan. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great weekend.